Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Esne Kato, and today I'm going to talk to you about the data types in Python. As you know, there are different data types in all programming languages, and it is important that you um, get to know the difference between them so you avoid headaches in the future when you start programming. So let's start. In Python, we have four main data types. We have ENT, float, STR, and bool. The first one that I want to talk to you about is ENT. That is the short version of integer. And some examples of integers are minus 25, minus 1, 0, 3, and 198. The second data type I want to talk to you about is float. Float are real numbers, meaning the ones that have this decimal point with them. For example, minus 2.5, minus 12.93, 3.2, 0 0.09, or 30.0. And even if after the decimal point there is a zero, there it is considered a float. That's why 30.0 is a float number. The third type of data that I want to talk to you about is STR. STR is the short for a string, and this is pretty much text data. In Python, all of the text data always goes between quotation marks. For example, we have hello, five, and even the number 30 in quotation marks. So it is really important to um, highlight that everything, that every character that you put between quotation marks, uh, Python is going to take it as a string data. The next type of data that we have is bool. That is short for Boolean. And Boolean data are the ones that can take one value or another value. For example, zero or one, true or false. And one example in real life that we can mention is when we have data from students that we want to like, um, how is it called? Differentiate by approved students and not approved students. Or if you have health related, a uh, health related database, you can have information about uh, drinkers and non drinkers. So, I bet if you are interested more about this specific type of data that are Booleans, you can leave it in the comments so I can make one video only for Boolean data. So how can we know the data type that we are working with in our programs? Well, that's really, really easy. The only thing that we need is the command type. And what we pretty much have to do is go to our terminal or to the terminal in our text editor and write type, open parenthesis, and between those parentheses, we write the data that we want to know. Here I have a couple of examples. The only thing that you need to do is go to your terminal and write this down. So you write type, open parentheses, one, and close parentheses. And then you press enter. What Python is going to tell you is that this one this number one is gonna be of class int for integer and if you do it this time with the text hello for example type open parenthesis uh, quotation marks hello close quotation marks close parenthesis and you press enter uh, python is gonna tell you that the class uh, for this text is str 
meaning string or text. And now let's move to Atom's terminal to see how we can do it step by step. Now we are gonna see step by step how to use a command type. What we are going to do is going to the terminal of our Atom editor and start from there. If you haven't or you don't know how to do this terminal into the Atom text editor, please visit my previous video about how to install it and then come back to this video so you can follow this tutorial. So going back to the type command, the first thing that we have to do in order to make our command work is write Python. And then we just press enter. The next thing that we have to do is start with our command. So we write, we write type, open parenthesis, and one, and close parenthesis and press enter. Here we can see that the class of one is int or integer. And if we try it with hello world, and press enter, it is gonna tell us that the class is a string, meaning that it's a text. So what do you think if I just do this? If I write type parenthesis, whoops, I made a mistake. I type, open parenthesis, uh, quotation marks, one, and close parenthesis. What do you think? the type of this data is going to be. So write in the comments if you will be, if you're right or wrong after seeing this. So let's press enter. And the class is a string, it's a text. And remember, um, all the characters that you write, that you put in quotation marks is always going to be considered as a text in Python. Thank you so much for watching this video and I have a little homework for you. You have to open your Atom text editor or any text editor that you have and from the terminal, find the data types of the following examples and write your answers in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye.